Well, good afternoon and welcome to 26 Tivoli Road um, in Margate. Um, today we're doing this live stream um, from the property. Uh, feel free to um, ask any questions you wish to do so um, in the uh, questions box and I'll do my best to answer as many of them as I possibly can. Um, as you can see, there is just a park across the road um, there, which is ideal for dogs and children um, there. So I'm just gonna give you a little bit of housekeeping on the property. Um, early doors um, just so you are aware of of them um, firstly people are going to ask us about um, as a possible buy to let the expected rental would be anywhere between sort of 800 825 possibly 850 at a push in the current climate um, the owners have been here four years um, they are looking to buy on um, and are looking for properties um, at the moment it's double glazed, um, has been in, in that time as well. All new double glazing with a fence certificate. And I can confirm that the boiler was replaced just last year. So um, with that in mind, I'm gonna also just start walking around the property. I'm gonna start here in the living room. I'm just gonna step back so you can actually see. Obviously the entrance door comes straight into there. There's nice hardwood flooring there as well. Uh, the lounge living room is um, 1210 by 93 but that isn't into the um, bay window there at all so, so we're just going to give you a sort of a little overview of the room but it's a nice size obviously it's a very big sofa in here. We're very close to the town centre. Um, I can actually vouch from personal experience it takes less than 10 minutes to walk to Old Town and the same to the beach about 20 minutes depending on how fast you walk to the station and depend which way you go as well because there are different options so there's the windy option and the not so windy option depending on the time of year as well so you've got an inner hall here and there's the stairs that lead up to the two bedrooms which obviously are either side there but we'll go up there in just a moment So into the dining room. Which is a nice size. You have an understairs storage cupboard there. But as you can see, plenty of room for a large table. So now we'll go into um, the kitchen, which is nicely appointed. Again, this has all been done since the owners bought the property four years ago. Got an oven and hob built in. Space for a washing machine just there. Good, nice big bright window. So, and in the hallway, there are built in appliances here. Just there is a slip on dishwasher, and this side is a built in fridge freezer. So, the bathroom is just here, but you've got a nice size sort of storage pantry cupboard here as well. Downstairs bathroom, which again is nicely appointed. And the cupboard here has the boiler. I know someone's going to ask to look at it, so we might as well deal with that now. Worcester Bosch. As we mentioned, it was replaced just over a year ago. So it's a nice size bathroom. Yeah. What I'm going to do, I'm going to take you upstairs first and then we'll take you outside to the rear garden. So both the bedrooms are a good size double. 
We'll start at the bedroom at the front, which is currently used as a dressing room, but just purely because of their own situation rather than necessity. But there's loads of room for built-in wardrobes. These are all currently freestanding. It's a very nice light, bright room. And again from here, you get sort of a feel for the, the park. But yeah, quite comfortably be a double room, no problem at all. Take you over to the other bedroom. At the back of the property. It's sort of a overstairs wardrobe area that you can see there. But it's a nice size. Double room. But you can see here there's some hanging space as well as space to uh, store bits and pieces. It's all been racked out. Okay, I mean, you get a flavour of the garden from just up here. But we're going to take you down there now. Uh, so just been asked by someone what direction the garden does face. Um, I believe it's an east facing, facing garden. Um, well, I know it's an east facing garden, so, um, but it's long enough that it wouldn't be an issue full stop, which I'm going to show you now by taking you to the whole length of the garden, but it is actually an east facing garden to answer your question. There is outside water and power. There is the power. And sorry, yes, who did ask, you missed the first few seconds of the property. Yes, the sellers need to find a property, so it will be part of a chain. So you see where the power and the water is. Small bit of AstroTurf there, then up onto a nice patio area. All enclosed by fencing. This is a nice large area for seating. So I'll take you to the back of the garden, so you get a full perspective. The garden is about 95 feet in total. I did neglect to give you the measurements of the other bread room, so I'll do that just in a moment when we step back. We've got this rear decked area, which obviously is still getting the sun here now. Um, and there is a rear access, which is accessed via Buckingham Road. Okay, so it's quite bright. I'm going to come to this side so you'll get a perspective of the garden. You can see, obviously, someone has actually extended into the loft space a couple of doors down, and there is a possibility to extend over the kitchen again, subject to all the usual consents. So, just to go over the measurements again for you, the lounge, as I did mention, was 1210 by 93, the dining room is 1210 by 94, the kitchen is 104 by 66. Then obviously you've got the rear lobby area. Uh, the bathroom is 6'6 six, six by 6'5. Six, and then upstairs, the bedroom um, are both 13 by 9, just to give you some perspective on the sizes of there. As you can see, it's all fenced, all secure. The owners currently have two dogs, which obviously are happily out here. And don't escape or anything like that. So if you are a pet lover, then you have got the space for it. Okay, 
So I'm just going to take you back inside. Okay, another question's come in about parking. It's on-road parking. Um, generally, um, you can find a space just outside. Um, I happen to live about two roads away from this particular property personally, so I can actually vouch that, you know, you can normally park. I mean, there are gonna be times, exceptions that you can't, I'm not gonna lie. Um, I will just open the front door just to give you an idea. Um, but it's a free, parking also it's not um, as it stands at the moment um, but as we stand right now there is a parking space right outside the house and another one literally within 30 yards away of the property so that gives you an idea of the park that I was just discussing to you and you can see another space just over there as well and this is at rush hour so most people are already home by this point There is the understairs storage space to show you where that was. Um, I'll just show you again, just so you there. There's the door for the understairs storage space. Okay, so in summary, guys, um, this is a two bedroom terrace in Tivoli Road, close to the uh, town centre. We're in about a 10 minute walk, 20 minutes to the station, 10 minutes to the seafront. Okay, local schools nearby, park almost opposite, um, and a bigger park, as in Hartsdown Park, less than a five minute walk away as well. Um, it's been double glazed in the last four years and the certificates for that, the boiler was replaced just a year ago. The rental income potentially is between eight and 850 maximum on the property. And yes, the sellers do need to find a property as well. So there will be a chain with this particular property. As some of you may be aware, we have a block viewing booked in for this Saturday. All the spaces as we stand at the moment have been taken. However, um, if you do give us your details and there's any cancellations, then after this um, viewing, um, then please give the office a call and we will happily take your details and see if there is a cancellation, we can put you in one of the cancelled slots. Um, any further questions, then obviously just give the office a call. We are 01843 double two double one double three and for those um, that are booked in um, on saturday look forward to seeing you then and um, if there's any obviously further interest then just get in touch with the office um, on the number that uh, 01843 double two double one double three thanks very much for your time today guys and um, we will see you next time